What's up guys, it's Andrew Alien, whatever you guys want to call me, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I got some UFC gameplay, and I wanted to talk about uh, the uh, upcoming event, 190, uh, UFC 194. That's uh, some time now, of course, but I just want to talk about two specific fights that are on that card. Not Aldo and McGregor, th uh, that's a topic I'll talk just alone in another video, but uh, Chris Weidman versus Luke Rockhold and Ronaldo Souza versus Joel Romero, uh, two great middleweight matches to, to stack up on this card. Like it, it, it's insane to, to to think about how the middleweight division is at this moment because there's such a new change into uh, possible contenders and you know people in the division. Like we got Sam Alvey, like he just lost his fight unfortunately, but. Uh, he is definitely like with a little bit more uh, experience and more time uh, working on his, uh, his craft. Like he's definitely gonna be up there in the top ten, I believe so. Uh, we got Michael Bisping, you know, winning matches, man. Like he's 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 doing good, man. He beat CB Dalloway and then uh, Theo's Leitch. Like that, he he. I mean, you know, unanimous decision, uh, but. It's still showing like Michael Bisping is possibly going to be up there. We don't know yet. Uh, I, I think uh, a fight against Vitor Bell for a rematch, I think that will definitely settle it. But uh, besides that, like we also have Yoel Romero right there. We got uh, Jacques de Souza. Luke Rockhold is the next uh, fighter against uh, the champs reign. Like it's crazy like seeing how the division changed. You know, I remember... Back then, when it was Anderson Silva, Wanderlei Silva, uh, Rich Franklin, you know, like all these guys, like it, it, it's inevitable for seeing this, you know, like a new. Uh, there's always going to be new uh, age of fighters, new, uh, new people to be the top ten. It's, it, it's not to be, uh, it's not impossible. It's expected. It's going to happen. Like nothing lasts forever. But it's just still crazy to see, like, who are p other possible contenders for this middleweight division. I think I'm excited to see what's coming because Chris Weidman, he's been, you know, dominating people that were the top contenders uh, 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 of the division, you know, back when Anderson was still champ. Like, he's he beat uh, Anderson Silva, of what, what was a freak accident, but, like, uh, honestly, like, if we did see Anderson and Weidman fight again, I think Weidman might win. I don't know. I can't say, like, I can't be honestly saying that it's for sure it's going to happen. But I think Anderson's time, uh, besides the legal stuff, I think it's, it, it was time for him to move forward with his life. And then we got, uh, you know, like, he's beaten Anderson. He's beaten Vitor. Uh, like, he's beaten Lyoto. Like, these guys were the the top. Like the, nobody would have expected Weidman to beat them, but you know, a new age is coming. Just like I said, it's inevitable. So I want to ask you guys, what are possible middleweight contenders that are gonna pop up in the uh, the top ten? Like we already, like I said, we have uh, Rockhold, we got uh, Jacare Souza, we got. Yoel Romero, the soldier of, of God, like, who else is uh, gonna be a challenge in the middleweight division? It, it's crazy seeing uh, the new age really form. Uh, it, let me know in, in the comment uh, section below what you guys think are gonna be uh, future contenders and what, what do you see in uh, the future in the middleweight division? I'm really curious. I want to have this discussion. Let me know, guys. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Be sure to uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. You guys are awesome. And also, I have an Instagram. I have a Twitter now. Uh, links are going to be in the description below. Be sure to follow me and keep up with me. And let's just talk. Like I, I, I love it. I hope you guys love it. And I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Again, peace out.